Welcome back guys, it's Kids Coding Playground here. Today we'll be working on our second part for our Apple Dash game. So for our Apple Dash game, I will go over the code we had last video. So this is the movement of the player right here. And this is the setting up the player. And then for the basket, right here we have the setting up the basket, switch the costume. And right here we have it to go to the player at all times. And then for the fruit, this is what we had from last time. When we fly click, we want to hide it. Um, we're going to set the fruit speed to negative 6. And this is the code for the fruit going down. And if it touches the basket or hitbox, it'll go back up and go to a random position again. And then we got the begin button. Okay. And this is just spinning the button. And this is starting it up. And then we've got the hitbox, which is the bottom. When the fruit hits the bottom, then it'll go back up. Okay. Alright, so today we'll be working on the bomb and lives, and we'll also probably get into the coins. So, right now for our bomb, we have the bomb, so we'll probably put this into the description below. Um, okay, sorry. Um, so there's a bomb. We'll probably put this in the description below into the Google Drive, or you can download one if you want yourself. Or you can draw your own. It's pretty simple. Just draw a black circle and you can draw some flare on the top. So that's how you draw a bomb, I guess. We're also going to bring our um, lives, health. So all we did is just draw three crosses. One, it's like in Fruit Ninja how you know they have three of these. So if they have three HP left, then they'll have this. Two HP, they'll have this. One HP, they'll have this. And zero HP will be like that. So we use some shade, a different shade of color, so it make it look better. Um, and every time you hit a bomb, you will lose one life. So that's what it does. So let's get coding inside the bomb. So, okay, so for the bomb, white, green, flag clicked. Okay, so, yeah, let's, let's do this big. Okay, so for the bomb, and when green, flag clicked, we want to hide. And then when I receive start game, when we receive start game, start game, we want to set the bomb speed to negative eight, which is a new variable, I believe. Bomb, bomb speed, okay. bomb speed to negative eight. So that's going to be like that. Fruits falling. It's going to be bomb speed. It's going to be for the bombs instead. So negative eight, and then we're going to go to a random position. And we're going to set the Y to 180, which is the top. And we're going to get a forever loop. So let's go control forever. If um, hit bomb is equal to no. So that means if the player has not touched the bomb. So, you know, so if hit bomb, the variable, uh, is equal to no, then we are going to change the Y by the bomb speed. So if it's not being hit, then it'll keep on going down. So the bomb speed, no, not like that. Change the Y by bomb speed. Change Y by the bomb speed inside the variable. So just put that in here. And after that, we're going to go to control. If um, touching the hitbox, the bottom hitbox, then we are going to hide, hide the bomb, and we're going to go to a random position again, and set the Y to 180. Set Y to 180. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to wait, pick random, one to three seconds. So we have two different costumes. One is the explosion, and one is just the bomb. So we're going to pick random one to three seconds we're gonna wait so it's gonna wait a little bit time before switching um, um putting another bomb so we're gonna wait and pick random one to three and then we're gonna obviously switch to the first costume first because it has not contacted with the player and it'll not explode and then we're gonna show after that all right and after that we're going to get another if then statement go to control if Put that in here if touching the basket so if the bomb is touching the basket 
then we're gonna set the hit bomb to yes. Hit bomb to yes. And we're gonna broadcast another message. And let's name it um bomb hit player. Bomb hit hit uh player. Bomb hit player, so that's what we're gonna do. And then right here, when I receive bomb hit player, then we are going to let's find a sound. Oh yeah, boom cloud. This is the one I had. Boom cloud just sounds like this. Um, so that's the one we're gonna use. And then we're gonna switch to costume costume two, which is the exploding bomb, like right here. And then we are going to wait 0.5 seconds. And then hide. So it's gonna explode, and then wait a little bit before hiding. So and then we're gonna hide it, and we're gonna switch the costume back to the first costume, which is bomb. And after that, we're gonna make it go back to a random position, go to a random position, and set the Y to 180. Okay. Now let's go to the fruit catcher. I mean, not fruit catcher. Let's go to the basket. Actually, I think we should go to the health first. Let's work on the health first. So for the health. We are going to, if a bomb comes in contact with the player, then it'll lose a life. Oh yeah, and I forgot, let me go through this code real quick. So, yeah, so this is the code. Make sure you didn't miss anything. Let's go to the health. So in the HP, we're going to do one green flag clicked. Hide. We're going to hide the HP. And we're going to set the variable hit bomb to no. And then after that, we're going to, when I receive start game, when I receive start game, we're going to switch costume to three health, which is the first costume. Switch costume to three health, so it still has max HP. We're going to show. And after that, we're going to, when I receive, bomb hit player. And we're going to next costume. We're going to do next costume because the next costume is... The second one. So basically, every single time it gets hit, it will switch to the next costume. So that's what it's for. And then we're going to get an if then state. So if uh, costume number is equal to four, that means the player has no more lives because the fourth one is zero lives. So costume number, let's go here. You can also use costume name, but we're going to be using costume number. If that's equal to four, then we're going to get an if then statement. Um, if, okay, so this is for later, so this is if the score is greater than the high score, then we're going to set the high score to score. Um, I'm just going to put this in anyway, so for later you can sense for the high score. So we're going to get a greater than symbol, so when the score is greater than high score, then we're going to set the variable high score to score. Alright, so after this we're going to broadcast a message. So once the player loses, we're going to broadcast a message called end end the game. So that's going to end the game. And then we're going to wait two seconds. And we're going to set the hit bomb back to no. After this, we're going to set it back to no. Hit bomb to no. All right. So this is the lives. So I'm going to play it. So let's click begin. So I'm going to catch some fruit. And hopefully a bomb will fall. I think I have to show the bomb. Yeah, I show it. I think I did. So as you can see, when you play it, bombs will start falling. If you hit one, then you'll lose a life, as you can see in the top right corner. So bombs will drop randomly, and as you can see, the fruit will always give you more I give you points, so run to the end, so bomb, you dodge it, it'll disappear. As you can see, it's working. The bombs are falling. If you hit one, then you lose a life. And in the future we're gonna add more bombs, so we're gonna duplicate this bomb so then you get more bombs in your game. So that's what we're gonna do as well to make it like more bombs. Since right now there isn't that much, so it's only going one at a time, so we want multiple at once, so that's why we're going to duplicate it later. So, as you can see, this is the code for the bomb. 
and this is the code for the health. And when you get hit by a bomb, then you'll lose one health. As you can see, let's, let's find a bomb. Okay, see, as you can see, you'll lose a life. So yeah, that's basically the health and bomb code. And now we can go work on coins. So coins will give you, uh, what's it called, money. So with the money, you can buy stuff in the shop. I'm gonna hide these variables. Um, okay, so for the coin, you can either draw your own, like just a yellow circle with like a money symbol in the middle. So we actually have our own. So um, I'm gonna import that in real quick. Okay, as you can see, I have imported my coin. So we downloaded this from online, I think. So it's just a coin with a star in the center. You can draw your own if you wanted to make it more simple. So for the coin, let's get coding on here. So I'm just gonna um, work on the coin. So um, we might put this in the comment section below as well, so you guys can download it. So for the coin, when green flag clicked, we want to hide the coin. And one thing we want to do with all the sprites is when we receive end game, as you can see, when you lose all your lives, a broadcast end game uh, right here. So one thing we need to do for all like the player and all that stuff. When it's end game, we want to hide them, I think. So when we receive end game, we're going to hide and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that real quick. So when we receive end game, we want to hide and stop other scripts in the sprite. Stop other scripts in the sprite. And we can just drag and drop that to every single sprite we have right here. So drag and drop it to duplicate it. Drag. All right. I don't think we need it for the hitbox because the hitbox has nothing. It's just hiding pretty much most of the time. Okay. So for the coin, let's go back to the coin. Okay. So in the coin, we are going to. Oh, uh, when I receive start game, we can make a variable, new variable. I'm gonna name it wait time. So it's basically the time you wait until a new coin falls. So we're going to set the wait time to three. Wait time. Oh, I already have another one. I'm gonna delete this one. I don't know why I have it. Um, I think it's because I import the coin. So wait time to three. And we're gonna set the coin speed, a new variable we're gonna make coin. The reason we're doing um, all these variables to control their falling speed and stuff like that is because um, when Armageddon's come, we want to increase the speeds, that's why. So, when the coin speed, we're going to set the coin speed to negative 9. So we're going to make it fall a little bit faster than the normal apples, fruits, and bomb. So, coin speed is a bit faster. And then, we're going to make a new variable. So, we're going to call it coin falling. So, at the beginning, we're going to set coin falling to no, because the coin has not dropped yet. So coin falling to no, and then we're going to make it go to a random position and set the Y to 180. And then next we're going to get a forever loop, forever if, we're going to get an if then statement. So if uh, the coin falling is equal to no, equal to no, so coin falling, coin falling is equal to no, then we're going to show and we're gonna turn five degrees left. So that's, we're gonna make the coin turn, rotate, and we're gonna change the Y by the coin speed. Change the Y by coin speed. All right, and then next we're gonna get an if then statement. So if it's touching right here in the coin falling inside this statement, we're gonna put another if then. So if it's touching the coin is touching the hitbox. Then we are going to go to a random position. We just basically duplicate this part of the code and put this in. And after that, we're going to get an if then statement. So if it's touching, so if touching basket, I can take this out. If touching basket, uh, where's that? Oh, right here. 
So if the coin's touching the basket, then we're gonna start the sound called ka -ching. I got this. Sounds like this. Uh, I got this from online, I think. Or they have it in here. I don't remember. I made this a very long time ago. So I, do they have it in here? Let's see. Uh, looks like they don't have it, so I think we got that from online. So you can just play any sound you want. Maybe a pop, ka-ching. We have. We will. Um, you can probably download your own from online. So after this, we're gonna make it give a pick random money. So we're gonna change the money money by pick random one to ten. And after that, we're gonna duplicate this. Go to random position. Set Y to one eighty. And then we're going to set the coin falling to yes, because the coin is now falling. Set coin falling uh, to yes. So I have another coin falling variable, probably because I imported it. So let me delete this other coin speed. So sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, coin falling to yes. And then we're going to broadcast a message. And we're gonna call it coin hit basket. Coin hit basket. Coin hit basket. And then up here, when I receive coin hit basket, coin hit basket, we're going to hide and hide the coin. And then we're going to use the go to random position, set y to one eighty. And then we're gonna wait the wait time before spawning another coin wait time and after that we're going to set the coin falling back to no coin falling to no okay so this is the code for it now let's save it run it in full screen so we're going to click begin see the coins are falling when you catch a coin as you can see you get a random amount of money as you can see Apparently, um, the touching hint box for the bomb doesn't work, apparently. I think it's because the bomb does not touch the hint box, um, at first. So, we're gonna have to use the chain, uh, this script right here. So, instead of this hint box thing, touching hint box for the bomb, we're gonna put this into there. So, I made a small mistake right there. So, it should be chain, uh, if Y position is less than negative 170. So, I think that's how it works. So now, we can go full screen and I can show you guys. So now the bombs will start spawning periodically, as before it did not. So, you hit a bomb, you'll lose one life. Another bomb will spawn, as you can see. So you're gonna have to change that out, remember? And once, I'll try to find another bomb. Okay, as you can see, when you hit three bombs, then you lose. So yes, that's basically this tutorial. Remember to change this. Sorry about that. Um, I didn't realize that wouldn't work. So you have to use Y position is less than negative 170. So yeah, that's what you want to do. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for part three. And I'll see you guys in the next video.